So, good evening and welcome to your lesson for today. Now, the first exercise here that we have is a speaking exercise. No, now, obviously, we can't do the speaking exercise like this, but I was thinking maybe we could do a Skype call and we could uh, discuss the questions there. So, if you're interested, we can uh, take a look and um, I'll send you a link. Yeah? But what I really do want to look at today is exercise number seven, vocabulary. Now, you know me. I'm a sucker for vocabulary. I can't get enough. No? So, let's have a look at the exercise. Can you see? It says... Complete the eight idioms with a color. Now we've got black, we must use that twice. We've got blue, we've got gray, we've got red, we must use that one twice. And we've got white, which we must use three times. Okay, now let's have a look at the sentences. So, John Singer Sargent's lost great flamenco picture, El Haleona, turned up out of the mm -mm -mm, and amazingly it was absolutely genuine now i'm sure you know this one out of the blue it's very difficult for thieves to sell famous paintings even on the mm -mm -mm market oh i think you know this one too no the black market number three we tried to organize an exhibition tour but there was so much mm -mm -mm tape what color tape well red tape to deal with that we had to cancel when you said how nice her dress was were you telling a mm -mm -mm lie i thought it was awful Ooh, a white lie no? a white lie number five my uncle is very narrow-minded he sees everything in black and white and he's always convinced that he's right Number six, that huge clock my sister-in-law gave me is a mm -mm -mm elephant. It doesn't fit anywhere and it's taking up space in the spare room. What colour elephant? A white one, eh? A white elephant. Number seven, there are lots of rules about copyright for printed text, but online copyright is still a bit of a grey area. Nobody's quite sure who owns what. And number eight, the anonymous letter was a mm -mm -mm, herring. Now, herring is a type of fish, no? Very typical in Scandinavian countries, no? And what colour herring it was? A red herring. It was nothing to do with the murder at all. Now, here we've got some very nice sentences, very nice expressions. Let's revise them. No, we've got out of the blue, the black market, red tape, a white lie, to see things in black and white, not everything usually now, or a situation, no? a white elephant, a gray area, and a red herring. Now, I'm sure some will sound familiar to you, but maybe not all. So let's look at exercise B. It says, say what you think the idioms mean. Now, out of the blue means unexpectedly or without warning. If something happens out of the blue, it happens unexpectedly or without warning. The black market. Now, I think this is very similar, isn't it? An illegal form of trade in which foreign money or goods that are difficult to obtain are bought and sold. Red tape, number three. This is official rules no, that seem more complicated than necessary and prevent things from being done quickly. Kind of like bureaucracy, no? excessive paperwork, these kind of things. No? But it really is this idea of official rules that are complicated no? to circumvent, no? that, that seem perhaps more complicated than necessary so things do not get done very quickly. No? I think... Um, and maybe, I, I don't want to insult anyone, but, you know, maybe red tape in Spain is a little bit complex. I don't know. It's just my personal experience. You know? A white lie. Now, this is a harmless or a small lie, especially one that you tell to avoid hurting somebody. Then we have number five, black and white, especially to see everything or to see a situation in black and white means that it's straightforward and very clear. No, black or white, there are two options. It's black or it's white, very clear. A white elephant, I like this one because I think it's a very interesting one, is a thing that is useless and no longer needed, although it may have cost a lot of money. Number seven, a grey area. Well, when a subject isn't black or white, it's a grey area, you know. It's an area of a subject or a situation that is not clear or does not fit into a particular group and is therefore difficult to define or deal with. Now, if it's black or white, it's very clear. 
If it's grey, well, it's kind of a mixture of the two, no? And a red herring is an unimportant fact, idea or event, etc. That takes people's attention away from the important ones. This is very nice. No? So a red herring is like a distraction, no? But it's usually something which is trivial, unimportant, no? But it acts as a distraction, no? From the important issues, a red herring. And that's very nice. Now... Let's have a look at some more examples of these expressions. Now, I'm going to go to the workbook for some more examples. Now, if you have the workbook, of course, open up your workbook. You're going to find it on page 47, exercise 5, vocabulary, color idioms. But really, what I'm interested in is some more examples. So let's have a look at some more examples now so the new multi-story car park is an expensive white elephant nobody uses it now so we have to use white elephant now the artist's comment had nothing to do with the real interpretation of the picture it was a red herring no like a distraction nobody knew that she was thinking of leaving so her resignation came unexpectedly now out of the blue unexpectedly now some people see politics but most situations aren't that simple now we have to use black now let's see see politics in black and white now so you see politics in black or white clear one side or the other but most situations aren't that simple number five the taxation of online companies is a gray area as it isn't clear where the money should be paid. Number six, we need to use red. You have to deal with a lot of red tape, no bureaucracy, complicated official rules, if you want to set up your own business, but there are lots of experts to help you. And number seven, he was arrested for buying and selling stolen goods on the black market. And number eight, I don't really like her paintings at all but i told her oh what kind of lie a ah, white lie so as not to hurt her feelings she seems quite sensitive now so just to see some more examples of our color idioms now there's just one thing i want to say before we finish because the next exercise that we have is our song which is all the rowboats can you see here at the bottom all the rowboats now what we're going to do is I'm going to post a version of this very nice song, very nice song with the lyrics on Google Classroom now, so you can have a listen, okay? So that's all for today. Hopefully tomorrow we might be able to do our video conference, okay? Thanks for listening.